Greg, what's going on, my friend? Welcome to MindShift. How are you doing today? Amazing. Great to always connect with you, Daryl. Thanks for having me here. I'm excited, man. Uh, where, are you at in a, where are you at in the world today? I'm in Los Angeles. You know, born and raised Good. in Chicago, but LA's been home for 20 plus years because, well, I don't like the winter. Uh-oh, there you go. There you go. LA is in the area. LA is the place to be. Well, listen, Greg, I'm, I'm excited to have you here, man. We, we connected a, about a month or so ago. Uh, we've been working with um, uh, the tool that we're going to talk so much about today. It's, it's become one of our favorite tools uh, in our agency. I uh, love what you guys are doing. But before we get into the tool and get technical with the, with the listening audience with some AI stuff that I think is going to blow their mind, uh, let's, let's get to know a little bit about Greg. Tell us a little bit about your, your backstory. You're a product guy. You're a, tell us about the backstory. No, I can't take I can't take ownership for the product side of things. Um, you know, my background is in, in media sales, uh, so it's where we also connected because uh, I worked for about fifteen years in the media realm, uh, mm -hmm. working with brands, agencies, and really kind of getting an understanding of all that. Moved into partnerships, uh, so got to uh, literally see which is what I love about the podcast community, which is why I'm excited of being back in it. Um, it's all about. How do companies come together and help the consumer? And if we have that in the mindset of things, it, it really makes things, uh, it, it fuels so much more innovation and fuels uh, business. Um, so yeah, so then uh, now I've moved over into Cast Magic. And so here I'm um, running community growth and, and sales and you name it. Bootstrap startup, doing a lot of things. Yeah, exactly. Tell, tell us a little bit about Cast Magic. Um, when did they start? And tell us about the mission. Um, Mission is, well, I guess Blaine and Ramon, the co-founders, they were running their VC back company. Uh, they have a podcast and like, we don't have the time to be doing all the things clearly, as you know, uh, not only using the tool, but running a podcast, like all the things that it takes and like, how am I supposed to do this? So as engineers and they're the product guys, they built cast magic to ultimately say like, how do I take my podcast, put it in a platform, use the power of AI and get all the assets I would need, whether it's a title, show notes blog, newsletter, and all these components, you can repurpose it. Uh, the idea actually started, three of them sat down New Year's Eve uh, 2022. So when you look at the progression from idea to where we are um, uh, in the first year, it's incredibly impressive on, on not only what's been innovated, um, but also just the audience growth and, and the feedback. And that's kind of what I love about it is we're building the product with everyone's feedback and and what we do as users but also um how we can cater towards uh the masses yeah it's true and i i just want to make sure for any of the listening audience who thinks this is just about being a podcaster and using cast magic uh please make sure you stick around because that was the initial intent but let me tell you let's just go there now greg a tool that's great for podcasters let's just talk about all the things that are there and then let's talk about the use cases that we are using because we started using it obviously for the podcast benefits, but now being an agency, we run sales meetings, client meetings, trainings. We run, there's so many use cases now that you guys have built in, in such a short period of time. It's absolutely incredible. Let's, let's just talk a little bit about the podcast features and some of the things that someone who could be doing, not just a podcast, but audio video content. See, that's the key. So you don't have to have a podcast. But if you're creating audio or video content in any way, shape, or form, this is a tool you should have in your arsenal. Let's discuss it. Yeah. Um, I mean, it really goes towards my thoughts and what I love about what we've got here is uh, if you think about yourself as a brand, if you think about yourself as a business, now you've got one tool that is going to allow you to uh, become a media company, become uh, better innovative with your concepts. So as you said, it started off on the podcasting side, and then we've realized uh, what I know is podcasters are, aren't just podcasting, right? They run a business. They are using their podcast as a funnel. Uh, their funnel is for coaching. Um, so there's so many different use cases. So we started iterating on it and going like, oh, well, then how do we create? What do you need as a coach? So here's a workshop that you or a worksheet that you can go ahead. Here's the uh, action items that you can give your client and go instead of you're sitting there trying to take notes and what did I miss? Um, the power of AI is also great because you may think you know so much, but wouldn't it be amazing to have a companion and going like, hey, you got this right, but I'm also giving you something additional on top of it. And you're like, mind blown, didn't even think about that. So um, it's got coaching. You can put your webinars in there and go, great. 
I know how to produce a great webinar, but I don't know the quizzes I want to give to my uh, uh, clients that are attending this or a worksheet or some leave behind. Like, hold on, that's a lot of work. So how yes. do you just go ahead and use one video, one audio component and go, great, use this asset to turn into all these other content pieces that can fuel your business. Um, and now it allows you to work smarter and not harder, um, but also it allows you to become a business as opposed to I'm just one thing. Man, I got to tell you, man, um, listening audience, I just got to tell you, the everybody's, everybody has heard that AI is starting to take over the world, right? Everybody knows that. Everybody's heard of the chat GPT. But let me tell you something. You have to go do the work inside of chat GPT. There's a use case for it. But let me tell you, there's nothing better in my mind than you doing your one thing good the first time, your webinar, your client discovery meeting, your coaching call, your podcast, your YouTube video, whatever that content is, whether it's video or audio, you get to do that one time. And in the past, and take it from me, who's owned a digital marketing agency for 13 years, the cost to edit, transcribe, cut, clip, search, and find all of the nuggets inside of those audios and videos is time consuming and daunting. And so, um, Greg, talk a little bit about, and I know you can't say it for everybody, but talk about the time savings that a tool like Cast Magic offers its users. I, I can speak about what we do, but I'd love to hear kind of what you're hearing inside the community and from the different use cases across the, the product. Oh my God. I mean, it ranges from this saves me three hours a week to, to the person who's barely using it and they admit like I should be doing more to 20 hours a week because it now allows you to um, take that one video, one audio component and repurpose it and create all these assets. And now you're taking, like if I had to sit down and record a conversation and go, okay, now I have to write this as a blog or write this as a newsletter, write this as a LinkedIn, Twitter post, like all these things. I mean, I'm overwhelmed just thinking about all those things. Yes. But if I can just have a tool say like, all right, I recorded something. I recorded a meeting and let that meeting now turn it into a lead funnel for me. I'm like, hold on. I can take a meeting with my internal company and go, how would I sell our company and what we've just discussed in this meeting as a lead funnel for me to go get new clients as we sit down and talk about whatever it is we're talking about? First off, you probably never would have been thought about that as a, a, a concept before AI and, and a tool like Cast Magic came along um, because you're like, no, it's an internal meeting. Like we're all just sitting there and taking notes. But like right. now it's allowing you to like sit back, relax, listen, or engage in the conversation and go like, hey, here's a recap. Here are all the things that you need to do as an action item. Um, so yeah, it's really saving hours. And it's now putting you to better use. So how do I get you to stop looking at a blank page? And I've got people that are like, I'm a writer. You know, I'm great at writing things. Well, mm -hmm. if you could just start from 80% done, and it's your words because it's literally taking your conversation or your, your thoughts. Like you can use the iOS app and literally just record your free-flowing thoughts and go, great, now turn this into actionable item for me. And then you just have to edit it and you put your little spin and then the release we just did today on how you can even more and import better content in there. So yeah, hours and hours, but also it is helping you become that media engine that, uh, that you didn't even think you needed or knew how to do. You know, it's, you just transitioned to a question I was going to ask you after you talked about it, you know, today online, and we use this phrase becoming a media engine or becoming, you know, marketing today is more about media distribution as opposed to just brochures and flyers, things of the days of old, right? Everyone lives on social media. Everyone lives on search engines like Google. Soon, in a few years, everyone will be living inside of AI tools uh, to access at least some level of information. What is the, from your perspective, what is the benefit of a listener here even if they don't have a podcast or don't call it a podcast, you talked about the mobile app. What is the benefit of really thinking of themselves as a media company, even if they're a coach, a speaker, an author, a service provider? 
what is the benefit of thinking like media and being able to use a tool like this? Oh my God. Um, if you think about if uh, the standard, how do I grow 1% every day? And after the end of 365 days in the year, you haven't actually grown 365 as a compound interest, right? So if you can just keep doing that same concept and use that as a, a uh, lead into your, your answer. If I put out a social post every day, am I consistent on that? If I put out a blog, I have no clue hey, who's seeing that, um, who's engaging with it, but I know the algorithms are going to help me. If I put a uh, newsletter on Substack, and now Substack's not only giving me an audience that I, that I can drive people to, but Substack's going to go like, oh, if you like this newsletter, then maybe you're going to like this one. So it's literally allowing you to become a media company and grow your distribution. You don't know who's going to see you. Like for me, my life ethos, my ethos is life is about time and relationships. I have no clue where a conversation today is going to lead me in the future. And so if you think about that from a media company standpoint, I don't know where one post is going to lead me into the future. I mean, we hear about cancer culture all the time, like someone who said something 10 years ago on Twitter and now they're getting cancered now. It's like from a business standpoint, if that's happening 10 years ago on a bad post, think about what your business could do if you put out good content. If you are taking this audio recording, whether it's a coaching call, like we've got coaches that are taking their calls and they're going and using the shareable link and going, hey, client, I'm going to add more value to you. And by me adding more value to you, I'm not going to go, hey, here's Cast Magic's uh, uh, shared link. There's a recording of our call, so you can listen to it again if you want and review it. Here are notes that I've already built out for you with AI, so you've got insights there. And if you have anything you want to go ask, go ask it. And so yeah, your content, as you said, record once, distribute it in multiple places, works better for you. It's working harder for you. And so there's so many different ways that you can, once again, work smart. And, and, and we are all tied to the process and the thought of, in order to be good, I have to work hard. I have to stay busy. Like, no, you don't. You can actually be, you can actually go be sitting on a beach right now and go, my content is working for me because I recorded this on the beach and all these great thoughts that came to me in the car or on the beach, I now can turn into all this content that is going to work for me. 100%. Yeah, it's really about, you know, we hear it all the time, it's cliche, work smarter, not harder. But there does seem to be this this grind mentality, this hustle and grind mentality. And it's like, okay, great, but let's just hustle and grind smarter. Like, let's be clear, we, we can be everywhere now, right? We can be on Facebook and Instagram Reels and Instagram threads and Twitter and YouTube and all the places. Um, but to do that, you need probably a five-figure, a multiple five-figure budget with the type of resources that you needed prior to a tool like Cast Magic, And so I want to actually talk a little bit about the custom components of Cast Magic because while it, you can take the recordings and your prior work, whether it's sales discovery meetings, coaching calls, trainings, I mean, we're, we're going back in my library of, of trainings with my community, whether I've done them free or paid, whether they were behind a paywall or not. And we're literally just of course, there's a buffer. Like we only get so many minutes from Cast Magic every month. We have to buy more from time to time because we have a lot of content. But we are just like, I don't have to now go think, what did I say during that training? And what are the nuggets I could pull out of that training from two years ago to start sharing on social? It is so fabulous. But you guys have a custom component that allows the user to create additional content out of the assets as well, which means take the asset, the recording and the transcript. Talk about that custom component that allows the user even more customization uh, to create their own prompts and their own um, queries to get more out of that content. Well, to answer that, let's let's explain, I guess, to, to, to the listener here, like a little more conceptually what it is. So you've got in the in our, our platform, you've got eight different profiles. Uh, whether they're two different sales calls, I can do a webinar. Um, uh, I've got podcast, YouTube. Um, I'm blanking on the other course. Um, so you've got eight different pieces. But based on those eight pieces, we've already pre-designed outputs that we feel like, all right, you're most likely going to want these things. But you're not tied to those eight, uh, those, uh, those outputs. You can go ahead and create and use prompt engineering. So this is where the buzzword is. But it's literally like, what more could I want? You're like, 
I don't like the titles that Cast Magic gave me. Great. Go ahead and say, what do you want as the, the titles? Uh, when you're looking at the dust on your hard drive and you're taking these back catalogs of content, you're like, all right, what, what did I say here? What are the quotes? And we extract the quotes for you. Um, how do we look at a newsletter that we gave you? And you're like, no, this is the newsletter format that I want. And so you now literally have the ability to come up with these prompts. And as you've already alluded to, like AI is taking jobs at the same time. It's making us, in my mind, better communicators because you're like, this is exactly what I want. So on the podcasting side, you're like, write me show notes. What are show notes? Like, what does that even mean? Everyone has show notes differently. So you can now literally come up with a prompt that goes, write me show notes in this format and this style with this language. And you're able to feed that and it's literally your recording. I say literally a lot. So uh, <laughs> it, it's your recording and you are using your words, your message. We're just creating the content for you. Yeah. I love the, um, the magic chat feature has been something we've been playing with. So we take uh, the the core items that that particular, let's just keep it on a podcast, for example. So we'll take those, those items that are already uh, custom built in there. Well, we love to go over to the magic chat and to your point of show notes, we're starting to play with show notes that are uh, blog style as opposed to just the bullet point style. And you can turn right around and, and put that in. You, if you want to turn that the episode into an SEO type of blog post, which is different than just a conversational blog post, then, We've asked it, hey, if you were to turn this episode into an SEO optimized blog post, what would the title be based on the transcript? And so we've asked it for three to five titles. We'll get the three to five titles. We also then ask it to give us the keywords and the, you know, just, it just does so much work. It's that same custom work, but you can't get it out of ChatGPT because it generally can't take the type of character count that uh, a podcast is typically going to have. Uh, ChatGPT is going to, blank out at about, I don't know, 2000 words or something of that nature. That's been our experience. Um, I, I could be wrong on the number, but, um, I love that feature. I love that feature. Um, a couple other things that are interesting that I'd love you to chat about is you've got a community that, so this is a one year, a little bit over one year company, and you guys are very in tune to its users. Uh, talk about the Slack community and how you're getting feedback and how you're iterating and, Talk about some of the latest enhancements that just came out. Yeah, um, I mean, I run that as well. Uh, it's, it's an easy transition to go like, look, I love connecting people. So if you come into the community, I'm going to go, oh, Gerald, you're in Vegas. So here's five other people in Vegas. Maybe you guys all can meet up because like Cast Magic is a tool, is the what. You are the how of creating that. So if I can create a, an environment where other people who are – either media people or other coaches and like, how are you guys using this in your A workflow, but B, what prompts are you coming up with? So being able to now provide that safe space to go, I am trying to figure this out. Who else is figuring this out? Um, it would be really nice if you guys could do this and like, wow, you're right. I'm using this tool too. Other people are able to chime in and go like, yeah, that's a great idea. So in the year that the company has been around the iterations, the growth, the, the speed with which we're in, uh, uh, innovating is, is incredible, but a lot of that is fed from uh, the community and conversations we get to have. Like, I get to sit there and talk to people all day and go, like, you tell me, like, what's the feedback? Oh, I wish it did this. I'm like, great. I'll put it in, and three days later, probably the dev team's like, yeah, that is a great idea. I could do that easily. Um, so it's impressive in that regards, which also makes it we're not trying to, our North Store is accuracy. Right. So at the end of the day, if you think about Bland and Ramon, I'm running a company. I don't have the time to edit things and write things. So we need to make sure that we are giving you an output that's saving you time. Otherwise, you're going to have to spend more time on editing pieces. So if our North Star is how do I create a, a accurate transcript, save you that time and then give you all these other great components that come out of it, then then we're doing an amazing job. And the community just continues to feel uh, feed us on that. Um, and I also love just bringing people together. So do workshops every week. So like come and learn. Um, you and I are talking right now and you've got a listener base that's, that's going like, wow, this sounds really interesting. Like, I don't even know what I would ask or what to do. 
like that's a great thing about bringing the community together. Other people are mm. asking the questions and going, huh, I didn't even think about that. Like half the things I share with you is from someone else going like, this is how I'm using cast magic. I'm like, hold on. You're literally like our CTO. He takes YouTube recipe videos, puts it into page. It puts it into a, a recipe profile, uses one of our products called pages that allows you to take up to five recordings. He's like, write me my weekly meal plan. I mean, come on. Like, what? That's crazy. You're like, I found these videos. I know this recipe sounds great. Give me the meal plan. Tell me what I need to buy, organize it, and it does it all for you. Like, that's a yeah. rare different use case, but it's something that shows you how you can take other content. And we've been talking about just your content this whole time, but like, you can take any other content and go, hold on. This was a great webinar. This is a great podcast episode. And this was something that I saw as an interview. And I like the concepts, like they match what I want to say, but I'm going to mirror them and go, great, give me a lead magnet or give me something out of it. Because like, let's be honest, not everyone is good at speaking. I would probably yeah, say yeah. I'm not the greatest speaker, right? So if I could take other people's go like, these ideas are mine. They just said it more eloquently. How do I pull this together and create something for me that I go like, yes, this is, this sounds like me. This is me. Let's go do it. You know, you just, uh, first of all, that was fantastic. I mean, uh, we didn't even talk about the pages, uh, component, which is actually fairly new. I think just barely a month or so ago, two months couple ago, couple months, yeah, yeah, couple months ago, uh, which just lets you goes back to what you're saying about the speed of iteration. Right. Um, I was kind of lurking in the community for a while. Cause, um, you know, I signed up of course, but I, I got a lot of things to do. And, um, you and I had connected on LinkedIn, I don't know, six, eight, 10, 12 months ago. And then you saw me lurking in the community and you're like, Hey, uh, Daryl, why don't you introduce yourself? I know you might not be, you know, have all the time to do all this networking and whatnot. And I appreciated that because I was, I'm there just to kind of say, Hey, what's going on? What's keeping up with the latest updates? What's the roadmap looking like? Um, I really appreciate those weekly, uh, I, I call them like weekly kickoff webinars where you guys are making, you're breaking it down every single week. So no user gets left behind. Uh, there's always a check-in point. Um, I do have a question. I don't know the answer to this actually. What if someone has created content elsewhere, not through the app, <clears throat> um, but let's say it was just text only. And I, this is just, it, can any, can people upload a transcript uh, for whatever reason, maybe they couldn't download the video or whatever the case is, but can they upload a transcript from their blog post that was on their website? You know, I, I can think of a company that has 168 blog posts. Could they extract their blog post in and upload it as a text doc and then be able to chop that up into usable content formats? Great question. So first iteration was podcasting, right? And then we realized that other people were starting to import YouTube videos. So that became the next iteration. Now we've got five different ways that you can bring content in. Right now, everything's audio and video. The goal, so if our North Star is accuracy, and the, the, the brand of what Cast Magic is, is how do we become your audio, how do we become your content workspace uh, for repurposing. And that's now just not audio and video, but it would be text-based. Like, how do I take this article, this blog, and, and use that and extract and go like, wow, what Cast Magic is built is incredible. I wouldn't even know how to do that with this. I can try to go and do it in ChatGPT, but then ChatGPT is going to bring out outside stuff. Um, that is on the roadmap. That is a focus. That is a, a point we want to go. Right now, the only way to do that is take that article use a third party platform that takes text into a MP3 and then take that MP3 and then bring it in here. Um, we've got yeah. users that do that all the time. Uh, literally someone on this week's weekly workshop talked about that's exactly what they do. They take, uh, they work in the medical field. So they take medical articles, medical blogs. They're like, all right, I know doctors are writing this. I'm going to use that, convert it, and this is, will become my lead magnet of how do I go target those doctors to buy my service, whatever the case may be. Um, mm. So it's really incredible. And like, how do you start thinking outside of the box of what is your business? How are you actually holding yourself back in, in not doing all these other things? But also, you didn't even know what you didn't know. And so now Cast Magic's can go like, hold on, I can do what? So yeah. That's cool. I love it, man. What are, what are we missing that we haven't covered about, um, the tool? And then I want to take it home on, on your personal side and get into your, 
your, your, your personal life outside, but I love your ethos. And so I want to talk a little bit about that as we wrap, but what else about the product that we not, that we have not covered yet? I mean, look, uh, everyone that's listening here right now, I think if you aren't thinking of yourself as a brand and how do I then take my brand and be everywhere? Um, before I joined Cast Magic, my background's on, on the revenue side of things. And so one thing I never understood is if you've got a B2B podcast, so you've got a SaaS company and they've got a podcast, they're not leveraging it in the full capacity. Most marketing departments are like, hey, here's my case study. Here's my white paper. And they go, hey, sales team, go, uh, go market it that way. Well, then you just feel, it feels salesy. Like no one wants to be sold a white paper. And we all understand exactly the purpose of a white paper, right? But what the joy is now, you can literally take your, your podcast, go, great, I'm going to run this through Cast Magic. It's going to give me LinkedIn posts. It's going to pull out quotes. And I can go to my team now and go, hey, team, here are some great quotes. Take us for an example. Your team can go, oh, I know that Greg's a, a speaking to my ICP. So I want to highlight what Greg said on my show and go, hey, audience, here's what someone that everyone else in the community would probably care about said on our show and quote them. Now it's not you trying to sell a white paper. Go like, hey, look at what our company can do. It is look at what someone said on our show. And how do I then spread that message so that we are flooding the market? If you have a company, and I'm not sure the size of who's really listened to your shows, but like if your company's 50 people, and if you just had 30 of them post three times a week, the content that they're producing from a podcast, think about how much content you've now just flooded in the market. And if we think about algorithms, the likes, the engagements, the views, your brand is starting to really start picking up and you're allowing your your employees who love and do what they're doing at your company to be that catalyst. And like, I'm now not selling my company as a hard sell that my company wants me to do. I'm selling the thoughts and ideas that other people, myself included, are probably really interested in. So there's so many different applications that you can start thinking about that no one's using. And back to the comment, like if you are a media company, that is how a media company works. You, you flood the market with all this content, you stem it from one place, um, and you're golden. Gotcha. I love it. Great way to wrap up the product. And last thing I want to do though, is, uh, you said something super fast early. I want to come back to it cause this is the mindship podcast. Um, state again, if you will, the, your, your ethos, your personal ethos, and let's talk a little bit about how that's come uh, to pass and be your, uh, your, your guiding framework. But uh, what is that again? Life is about time and relationships. You have no clue where a conversation today will lead you in the future. And that stemmed, I didn't come up with the, the words until recently, but the ethos has always been there. Like I was the kid back in school who would be like, I'm friends with everyone. And so you've got all the clicks. If you think about, you know, uh, think about Mean Girls as a movie and everyone's in the plastics and all the clicks, right? It's like, I didn't look at things like I was friends with everyone. And so if you realize, well, this person's over here and likes take a, take a random idea, like a jock who likes Dungeons and Dragons, but he can't tell their people he likes Dungeons and Dragons. And you've got someone else who likes Dungeons and Dragons. Like, Hey, you guys like, you like the same thing. Like you start connecting them. And I've been doing that since a young age. So hmm. when I started my career, you're, you're like a, you're trying to talk to VPs and CEOs and like, Who's this little 20 year old? Like, but I'm like, just because I may be young doesn't mean that what I could offer is I'm not trying to sell you the product, but like I'm talking to other CEOs. So the chances are that my conversations with other people in your field goes back to that entire social promotion within your company all stems from that. So if you can start thinking about a conversation is yes, I'm giving up time. So what is the value? But if I, truly believe the time you're giving me is helping me to find other people that connect, then that is what I like to do. Now it takes time. So it's taken me years to finally have other people going like, Oh, Greg truly believes what he does. Like you tell me who you are it goes back to the community piece in our cast magic community. You tell me where you're based, what you're interested in. 
I will connect you with those other people. Like that's what I love doing. And so mm-hmm. every conversation, I had a conversation shortly earlier today with a founder in India and he reached out to me. He's like, you seem to know a lot of people. Like who should I be talking to? Right? So if we think back to the content piece, it all comes back. Like you don't know where a piece of content is going to lead you. You don't know where a conversation is going to lead you. If you're just curious, if you have a curious mindset, so let's go into the mindset shift of, of the show. Um, if you have that curiosity and there's no judgment, you're like, I just want to know who you are, what you do, um, who's your ICP. If you want to go down the business route, then great. We can go down that piece. And now I've got you in the back of my mind. So when I talk to someone else, because it's all I'm doing, I can help you, which is also why I love the partnership side of things. Sales is all about like, can you buy my product? No, great, goodbye. Partnerships <laughs> is like, I want to talk to you. I can't, we can't do anything, but hey, maybe you should talk to this other company because then you're the partnership manager there. It is a matter of how do we come together and serve the consumer as opposed to how do I hit my goals and sell something. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and that is where my career is kind of taking me, going like, oh, finally realized like you are doing a service by selling something like I truly I had a call this week and the highlight of my week was probably he was so grateful he's like I just want to reach across and give you a hug because when you reached out to just literally talk about podcasting and then told me about cat's magic and it's changed my game and it's changed my business it has made me so much more money and that goes to show like if you're just offering something of value this case is cast magic, but it's truly myself going like, I just want to talk to you. I have no clue where this conversation is going to go. And I don't know how it can help you. I don't know how it can support you, but it's not thinking about today. It's thinking about, I've got this connection now. Where can this take us in the future? Most of us, I mean, look, you run your own company, but who knows where you're going to go? Maybe you'll sell it and you start something else. Like all those connections compound and just help you. So it's a who you know world, but also who knows what you know kind of world. I love it, man. No, it's a lot, but man, listen, way way to take time and and break that down. Because I think to your point, uh, anyone who's been around and and is in business, really in life in general, everything is about relationships and you're prioritizing relationships over product. You're prioritizing relationships, even over profit. You're prioritizing relationships over uh, anything that could be of benefit or value to you. And that's, uh, it's a different energy and a character that comes with that. And that's what I really appreciate about you. I know when you reached out to me, it was the same thing. It was like, Hey, I noticed you in the community just hanging out. What can I do to help? Is there anything that, that you need? Um, and I just appreciate that about you, Greg. So listen, I really appreciate you being here on the Mindshare podcast, but before we go, I want to make sure that everyone knows that depending on when you listen to this, Greg and I are going to team up and do a full-blown webinar, back office deep dive on Cast Magic. And no matter when you are listening to this, you can head over to darylevans.net forward slash Cast Magic, or just click the link in the description below wherever you're listening or watching to this podcast. Um, Greg and I will get together, and we're going to have that put together here probably over the next 30 or 45 days. would love to invite you into the Cast Magic world. I have tested now somewhere in the neighborhood of 13 or 14 of these uh, tools that are trying to knock off cast magic. I don't see it happening. Um, and I've had a couple, there are a couple really good ones. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but let me tell you the speed at which uh, 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 Greg and, and, and the founders at cast magic are moving. Uh, we've locked in, we've locked in uh, all of our clients. We've told them about it. And uh, I'm really appreciating everything that you guys are doing, Greg. So listen, man, thank you for taking some time to be here. I know you got a lot going on with a big community, with a fast growing startup, and I'm looking forward to the next opportunity to connect with you. Hey, it was great talking with you. Thank you, uh, everyone that listened. And um, you can always find me on LinkedIn because, like I said, I just want to create the connection. So uh, thank you so much, Daryl. Yeah, you bet. We're going to link up uh, Greg's. Uh, LinkedIn in the description as well below. So again, darylevens.net forward slash cast magic. If you want to take a deeper dive behind the scenes before you get yourself signed up, we'd invite you over there to check that out. And for those of you who spent time hanging out with us today, we want to thank you for your time. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with us. And if you haven't done so already, hit the follow or subscribe button so you never miss another episode here on the Mindship Podcast. I'm your host, Daryl Evans, and I'll see you again real soon. Take care. Hit the subscribe button so you can become a part of the MindShift community. We'll help you shift your mind so you can shift your results.